What is up, my awesome, awesome, fabulous bitches? It is I, Rostick the Weatherman, and my new haircut. You dig? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do love my new haircut. I think it's nice and much better, shorter, and just looks more professional, I think. Um, so... I'm happy with it, and I hope all of you are happy with it, too. And if you're not, well, guess what? Too bad, because it's my hair, people. Um, today's video is going to be about the summer outlook for June, July, and August, which, by the way, are the three meteorological months of summer. Okay, so we're going to start off in the west. Unfortunately, places along the coast and everything... Basically, the whole entire West, okay? We'll just say the whole entire West, okay? Um, the drought is going to be pretty much continuing, and the heat is going to be building in places like Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Montana, and it's going to be drier in the Pacific Northwest as well as in the Desert Southwest. So the drought could even expand a little bit to the North into places like Seattle and Portland. And don't be surprised, in Seattle and Portland, if you see... 90s this summer because it is going to be hot 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 and the wildfires down in the southwest going over into the southern plains unfortunately there's not going to be a whole lot of relief coming into those places and again it's going to continue to be hot and dry and unbearable and it's not good at all because the drought just keeps getting worse out here and over the summer months it just looks like there's not going to be like any relief at all that's very sad to say and everything, so I'm sorry. If you live out in the West and you're dealing with a drought, my hearts go out to you. Um, all right, so moving over into more of the uh, Eastern Rockies and the Plains and everything, expect to see a bit wetter than normal conditions coming into the Eastern parts of the Rockies. Not necessarily cooler and wetter, just a bit more like storminess. So you could just see a bit more rain in your rain gauges than you typically would find in a summer season if you live from Montana going down into Colorado and going into places along the high plains in like Nebraska and Kansas City. I mean Kansas, maybe including Kansas City, but the state of Kansas, I meant. <laughs> um, going into the upper part of the Midwest, a typical summer is expected for places in the Dakotas and Minnesota, Iowa, and Nebraska. Uh, what does that mean? Basically, 70s, maybe a few 80s, not a whole lot of heat waves, not a whole lot of storms, um, typical rain, just, just, you know, not droughts or not, you know, cold waves, just kind of just typical summer. And it actually is nice up in the upper Midwest during the summer because it's cooler in the 70s and there's less humidity. So, um, Minnesota, state of like 10,000 lakes, uh, go up there on vacation if you're going to be sick and tired of the heat that's going to be building in the south, just go up into Minnesota and go out on one of the lakes and, you know, have a party and everything, because that's where you're going to find the cooler than just uh, average, or not cooler than average, but just, you know, cooler than expected along the deep south and everything. So Midwest is going to be typical going into the Central Plains and, like, the Ohio River Valley. We're actually going to see a bit more storms this summer, and the reason why is because for the Great Lakes region, due to the extensive ice that we've had over the Great Lakes, it actually is going to keep the area a bit cooler because the water temperatures are still very cold for this time of year. So if you live in places like Duluth and Marquette, Michigan, going into Milwaukee, Chicago, Detroit, even Cleveland, and even going into the Eastern Lakes like Syracuse and Buffalo, New York, expect to see this summer to be a bit cooler than normal. So not a lot of heat waves and not a whole lot of dryness either. It's just going to be a bit more cooler, relaxed, I feel like, if you live along the Great Lakes. But if you live along the deep south from Texas going in over into the southeast, it's actually supposed to be very hot this summer. So expect to see the temperatures come up, the humidity go up, and when you have the clash between very warm and humid air and cool air to the north, you get an in-between sector and they clash together and they produce storms. So that's why we think from like Kansas City, St. Louis, 
uh, going over into Indianapolis, Nashville, going into places like Kentucky, over into some parts of the Mid-Atlantic, the Virginias and the Carolinas. This summer could be a bit more stormy just because we are going to have a big temperature contrast <laughs> between the north and the south. So again, just look out for a bit more stormy or conditions, not necessarily tornado outbreaks, but heavy downpours and frequent lightning. And I mean, we can't rule out the possibility of a tornado, but it's not going to be like an everyday event. Just you could see pop up thunderstorms, you know, every other day or so um, for the summer months. Now going into the mid-Atlantic and the rest of the Northeast, this summer is going to be kind of like a uh, like a roller coaster, back and forth, sort of say. Right now, we're expected to see temperatures kind of go way above average for the rest of May. But then coming in June and July, we're expected to kind of be a bit more cooler than average. But then going into August, we're supposed to see very hot conditions again. So if you live from D.C. all the way up into parts of New England, just expect to see some temperature swings throughout the summer months and everything. Um, not a whole lot of rain, not a whole lot of drought coming into the northeast areas, just again, kind of not wild temperature swings, but they could noticeably be um, cooler or hotter depending on where you live and everything. So overall for the country, a lot of stuff going on, um, a lot of stuff just basically going on. But again, to just recap, the west basically is going to be hot and dry, not good. The middle part of the section is going to be kind of a typical to cooler summer. The south, yeah, I hope you have a pool or I hope you just go over into the coastal areas and just, you know, beach all summer because it's just going to be just unbearably hot. Okay, and then over into the east, eh, typical, but maybe some heat waves, maybe some cold waves in and out during the three months of June and July and August. So that is it. That is the forecast for your summer of 2014. So if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. And remember, you can check out my Hurricane Outlook video posted up here in the right top of the corner. And don't forget, this Friday, May 9th, the movie Neighbors starring Zac Efron comes out. It's supposed to be very funny. I can't wait to go see it with Zoe. So um, go and enjoy that. And Godzilla, oh my god, Godzilla comes out next week. <laughs> and then after that, X-Men Days of Future Past. And then, oh my god, I can't wait to see Maleficent on May 30th. So just a lot of good movies coming out this month and going into the summer. So hey, if you live over in the south and it gets too hot, just go to the movies. If they're cool. I mean, the movie theaters are based, you know, typically cool and everything. Um, sometimes a bit too cold. But for the most part, it's a lot better than just kind of sending out going, ah, I can't breathe. <gasps> it's too hot out here. So, yes. Um, remember, you can find out more videos on my channel, Weatherman R, and blah, 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 blah. I'm rambling on and on. Um, so that's pretty much it, folks. All right. Remember to keep your eye to the sky and enjoy the rest of this week. Enjoy the rest of the month and enjoy this summer. I'll be back with more videos. All right. Bye.